How's it going, guys? Medium difficulty question pathology step one, family medicine, trauma medicine, 2CK. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, threads, moment underscore medical, and the HLMA underscore medical links down below. If you're in Telegram, links to the Telegram group channel down below. And I start the clip. One year old boy has leukocoria. Okay, so we have the red eye reflex here where red is normal. You shine a light in the eye. And then if you have a white eye, this is called leukocoria. This is past level for congenital retinoblastoma. So it's a medium difficulty question because there's other steps we need to consider here. But for starters, this is obviously congenital retinoblastoma, RB mutation, it's a tumor suppressor gene. And you need to know that these patients can go on to get osteosarcoma later in life. That's also past level. But I didn't have just simply osteosarcoma as the answer. And we have to discern, okay, well, which of these answer choices refers to osteosarcoma here? So there's three demographics that I got to get osteosarcoma. One is this patient, as I just talked about, RB, congenital retinoblastoma. Number two is going to be idiopathic, usually in a male, 15 to 35, can be uh, distal femur, proximal tibia, can even be of the ankle sometimes, so that'd be your distal tibia. And third demographic is going to be elderly, Paget disease of bone. Okay, so let's just whip to the answer choice here. Choice A, clusters of mucin producing glandular neoplastic cells, wrong fucking answer, refers to uh, gastric adenocarcinoma, diffuse subtype, gauzelinitis plastica, can also be Krukenberg tumors, hematogenous dissemination to the ovaries bilaterally. Okay, so signet ring cells, mucin producing cells, glandular, you need to know in general means adenocarcinoma. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, lacunae filled neoplastic chondrocytes, wrong fucking answer, refers to chondrosarcoma. I would say this is actually, in fact, one of the highest yield cancers on USMLA, chondrosarcoma. And there's some of you watching this YouTube clip right now who know what I'm talking about because you've seen it on the NBME exams. They like showing you an image, okay? Uh, they can show you a slightly translucent or a reddish background, mycoid, a hyaline background, and then you have these large, clear appearing cells. Okay, those are the chondrocytes. And grossly, they want you to know can be described as glistening. Holy shit. Okay, cartilage. Very high yield for USMLE. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice C. And real quick, I should just, not ultra high yield, but I will mention to you that you could be aware that chondrosarcoma likes to grow in the pelvis in particular for whatever reason. As I already said, wrong fucking answer. Choice C. Neoplastic sheets. Plasma cells, wrong fucking answer, refers to multiple myeloma, okay? So uh, plasma cells secrete immunoglobulins. So you're going to be getting uh, increased uh, serum IgG kappa lambda light chains, multiple myeloma. You're going to fly around the blood, bind to various things, including RBCs, cause uh, RBCs to be sticky, reload formation, high ESR. Uh, the proteins, the immunoglobulins deposit in the heart, cardiac amyloidosis, diastolic dysfunction, deposit in the kidney, renal amyloidosis, nephrotic syndrome, fly through the kidney, micturate them out. You have Benz Jones proteinuria, hypercalcemia due to lytic lesions. You do, uh, if you do a, a blood smear and you see the plasma cells, they have clock face chromatin. And if you do bone marrow biopsy confirmatory, uh, you're going to see greater than 10% plasma cells. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D. Pleomorphic neoplast cells with production of new woven bone, correct answer. So this refers to osteosarcoma. Now, this is a process of eliminating to get there. You don't have to be a, literally a pathologist where you know it's D. Okay, if you ask me blindly, you're like, Mike, what would you see on a, you know, for histo with, I mean, I'd be like, uh, you know. So it's not really about you saying, oh, obviously it's D. It's about eliminating to get there. Okay, because if, and I'll talk about D, but if you look at E, this is Ewing sarcoma. Okay, so Ewing sarcoma, small, round, blue cells. Could also, so Ewing sarcoma is going to be a pediatric bone tumor where uh, you it can actually present like osteomyelitis with bone pain and fever uptake in the diaphysis. Osteomyelitis is metathesis with uptake. Um, could be uh, 2211 translocation. So don't confuse that with 22Q11 deletion, which is the George syndrome. Um, Uric sarcoma can have uh, onion skin type appearance to it, but small blue cells can also be uh, unrelated, but it could be uh, small cell carcinoma. They really like that. It could be carcinoid tumors, so neuroendocrine type of tumors. So we eliminate to get there, right? Because D, you say, well, new woven bone, that could refer to Cobman triangle, where you get subperiosteal slash periosteal reaction with elevation. Uh, the new the sunburst appearance 
That's speculated new bone formation. Okay, so that's osteosarcoma. And uh, as we talked, so that's medium difficulty looking at these answer choices here on a background of a past level diagnosis of retinoblastoma and knowing that it's past level that you get osteosarcoma later in life. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content if you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.